Hey guys, how you all doing? I just wanted to show you this mirror I got from on, um, it's on, you know, on the street or on the side shopping or whatever you want to call it. Okay. You see this mirror. Okay. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see. Okay. It, I'm sorry about the, um, let's see if I can turn it around about the stuff over there. Okay. Just a second. Just a second. You see? Okay, it goes like that, you know. It's hard to kind of see it and everything. I don't know if y'all see it or not. Um, it's a long mirror. It's very old looking. It's really, really, really cute looking. Now, the problem is right here, if I can get maybe just like a zip tie and hold it to here, you see what I'm saying? This little hole right here. And if I can find that, I can, it'll be fine, you see. It'll be fun. I'm sorry. I've been working out and working in the garden. Okay. You see, I'm sorry about the stuff behind me. But like I said, I have been working on things. Still trying to get it done. But as you can see, this mirror, like, let me go here. Look, it's going up. Okay, let me see if I can sit back here. It's going up like that, you see, because that's the reason why they, you know, put it in the trash and everything. Um... Okay, but like right here, I think these bolts can be tightened up on both sides there and then down here. And then like I said, I'm thinking that piece of just for right now until I can figure out or a wire right there and then tie it, tie it down to that. I mean, that's the only thing that's going to keep it there. Um, that's the reason they threw it in the trash. But it is really, really pretty and old looking. And I like that kind of look. Um, my room has got a black, or no black. It's got a white kind of creamish um, bed. Um, it's called, what's it called? I can't even think of the name of the style. Um, well, it's an iron bed. Um, I wish it was an iron old bed. But actually back in the um, early, you know, a while back, 100 years ago, whatever, 50 years ago, however long you want to say. Um, they uh, actually only had fools. They don't have twins because I have a high bed. It's super high and everything. Um, they had, and my grandmother gave it to me for my birthday. It's an old dignity. The reason she gave it to me, I mean, we used to lay on the high bed until I fell asleep, you know, and then um, when I was younger, and um down in somerset kentucky and it just was a fun place to go see my grandmother there was a dairy queen next door and i just what sat there and waited for the dairy queen to open i mean my parents would go in you know we would go in for a nice big meal you know just a you know a huge layout you know i think of corn cream corn and you know turkey or whatever they were having that day I came from green beans and you know I can't even remember. Um, I mean, I probably can't remember if I can think about it, but when I'm like trying to video, I just trying to remember just different things. Turkey, you know, oh, roast and stuff like that. Chicken. Okay. But it was all homemade chicken. You know what I mean? Fried chicken, all homemade, everything from scratch. But I was little, you know how little kids are and they just want a hamburger or hot dog or whatever. Well... <laughs> Can't wait to get over there at that Dairy Queen and get a hamburger with ketchup and mustard and pickle on it. That's it. And, um, that's all, you know what I mean? French fries and a Coke and everything. And, um, it was just so much fun. My grandmother had some change in the hallway in this little container. And we got to, you know, that's where the change were, the quarters and stuff like that. And, like I said, when my mom and dad left me down there, I would sit there at that window and stare at that Dairy Queen until it opened. It would open, like, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon because um, it stayed open till like, 2 o'clock at night or whatever. Okay. So, anyways, the house, I went to look at the house with my um, grandmother. And she didn't want to go in the house because she wanted to remember it as, you know, before and everything. She wanted to remember it as it was. And, and I totally get that and everything, but I went in there, took pictures and stuff, and, and I came up with a cute little um, picture, you know, 
a little note, a notebook, a little like photo book for her and stuff like that. But um, there was a quad tub in there. I remember that being there, that winding staircase. It's turned into a, um, a law office or something, or, or was it a, something like that. No, it's not a law office. It was a, what do you call it? Insurance office. But anyways, I looked around and stuff like that and kind of, you know, brought back memories. But anyways, what I was saying is the iron beds, well, there was, I mean, there was an iron bed. My aunt got it because that was her mother and it was my dad. Um, my, my dad's mother. Oh gosh. Now Maine is getting ready to fall again. It was getting ready to fall this time. It, I could see how it could fall right there. It just needs to be tightened it really good. Maybe it's not tightened up very good. And like I said, that little thing right there needs to go on there somehow. I'm not sure how yet. But I'm sure I can figure it out, like I said, zip tie or piece of wire or whatever. But anyways, what I was saying was back in the olden days, they didn't have queens and kings beds. They had twins and full beds. And um, I couldn't find a queen size. I mean, I should have just gotten, you know, a full... Because a full and a queen, actually, a queen is a lot bigger than a full. Um, and I couldn't find any. That was the reason I couldn't find any, because they didn't make those back then. Um, but, um, you know, they... Whoa! They... Uh-oh. See, I have to figure this out. Hold on a second. But anyways, that's the reason why I couldn't get an antique one. And, um... But I did have a high bed because, like I said, my grandmother and I slept in the high bed. And um, she gave me the high bed because, you know, it reminded me of her and stuff like that. And, you know, she, I was one of the favorites and stuff. But anyways, because um, I would go down there and visit them in Somerset and stay there a week and do whatever my, um, that freaking microwave. I was fixing something here. Okay, I got it stuck right there. Okay, for right now. Um, I don't know how, okay, I had it leaning against something. Okay, there's got to be a way, you know what I'm saying, to fix that. I mean, I'm sure I can fix it, like I said, you know, wire or something. And anyways, what I was trying to say, explain about the beds and everything, the beds just don't make them, you know, they're, they're just full size. They're not queen or king or anything like that. They had twins back then, and they had fulls back then. Because like I said, the high bed that I got, the antique high bed, it's a full and um, I have it still, and I'll probably put it in the, uh, one of the rooms once I get everything cleaned up like I want it, like it, what, like it used to be. And then, um, so anyways, mine is a just an iron bed there. There, I couldn't get it out. Iron bed, and it's kind of a greenish color, and it looks kind of old. And I got that at Pier 1 because I just couldn't find anything. You know, I wanted an older bed and everything. But anyways, here we go. Look, see, I've got it laying on there, okay? It will, you see, I apologize for the mess and everything. Um, see what I'm talking about? I think I showed you all the best I could. But anyways, um, what, tell me what you think I should do. Zip tie, I mean, that would be kind of tacky. I don't know. But that would hold it there until I can figure something out. A piece of wire or whatever. But I don't know. So let me know what you think or whatever. Thank you all for stopping by my channel. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good day or night. Bye-bye.